Hello, everybody. Uh, let me explain something. I'm basically not the Bugsy you guys know, but I'm not an alternate... Well, I am an alternate version, kinda. Um, him from the future. In the future, we went after... We went after Lord English, and, uh, things didn't go the way we planned. So... As a last-ditch effort, I was able to push me and the others back, back into the past for a bit. Think of this: even though my past self hasn't finished with high, with uh, high slot Princeton, we're gonna do, we're gonna at least do John. Think of it as a prelude. Of what's to come next? Think of it as a little teaser. I may do the others if my past self isn't quick enough. But for right now, I gotta say, even though you guys probably don't think, even though you guys probably don't, uh, you guys probably do believe that I've done some weird shit on this channel. But it's good to see you all again. I want to say that. I'm not gonna say any more other than that. And that's okay. So, let's do John. Equius, you cool? Um, yes. I believe to be okay. Gamzy? I'm, I'm cool, Bugs. I'm perfectly fine. Erdin? Yes, in the building, and I'm, I'm alright. Why, why are we doing this in the past? Because we were supposed. Because it's a fixed point in time. We're supposed to go back and do this. Kind of a teaser to what's to come. What about, what about your past self? He knows the deal. For those of you that don't, okay. I don't know, like, y'all probably already know. <laughs> no, you know, knowing my past self, he's a little bit late on this. But, the ending, the worst ending is basically, you're basically, you're basically reading Homestuck, and you're basically stuck there. You get granted now you're going to read the epilogue, and the epilogue doesn't really tell you much. But then again, my other, again, my past self probably told you all about that. The mental strain that comes with reading those epilogues. What the... Oh, oh yeah! Oh, you must be Oh yeah, like... I forgot. My past self never gave you a voice. It didn't give you a voice yet. <clears throat> well, allow me. Past self, take notes. What the... What the fuck? Are you serious? What kind of ending is that? Absolutely nothing got resolved. You stand up, you stand up so, you stand up so best, your chair falls over. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, your steam. And yeah, Lord, oh yeah, Doc Scratch doesn't have control of the white box anymore? We do. Don't even ask how that's possible. My past self's gonna get to that point, <laughs> but we're, we're, we're all in our God tier outfits, by the way. And you're probably wondering to yourself. How did how did you get how did Equius, Aaron, and, and Gamzy get, get, get their gods here? I kind of unlocked it. I kind of unlocked their gods here by uh, using a little Chaos Lord magic. You know, no big deal. I'm uh, I'm saying too much. Jesus, Jesus Christ, you're steamed. Maybe. Eventually, 
with the further thought of the traumatic traumatic elements and contri contribution to the narrative convention. But as as of right now, you need to understand what what happened to Dead John. What about Rose and Gania's marriage? What about Friska and Terezi? God. Oh, wait a minute. Let me back it up. God, you have some words with someone. Stomping out, stomping out of the little computer room. You blink a few times, readjusting to the to the dim parlor. At the at the screen, at staring at the screen for so long. Doc Scratch, where is that creepy motherfucker? You sure got his number. You don't know about about how he ruined when the eight the eight human kids and 12, 12 trolls. How he played everybody, including you. The the very story least owes you a satisfying conclusion to this story. You conf you march confidently down the hall. The directions of the sudden ruckus turning turning the corner. You see two figures. One is definitely Doc Scratch and the other one and the other is a dark silhouette with a fashionable hat and coat. Oh, I wonder who that can be. I wonder man, guys, I wonder who that can be. <laughs> Must you always stroke your own ego? Hey, the creator doesn't do it that don't mean I don't mean one of his creations can't. <laughs> oh god damn it. You know what's hap you know what's happening. You know some lore you need to get out before Well <laughs> you need to get out of here before place goes up and playing survive now yell about the unsatisfactory narrative later oh we all yelled about it I I, I I still can't recover from it actually to be to be completely honest with you um when I'm done with this the pat the past the future me the fu the me you see before you and the me you see before the me that's talking to you and the me you see, the other the other group of my friends are gonna merge after high swap is fully done. We're gonna the future stuff is gonna merge. So we're gonna we're gonna go like that. You sail through, you sail through. Feet first, Brent, branching the smell of overturned earth. And the sight of a twin Eternian moons. Man, it's gonna be good to see your friends again. Especially armed with all this canon knowledge. But what surrounds you is not the Fozier Corpse Field. Fozier Fozier's Corpse Field. It's a whole lot of nothing. You're lost between worlds or something? Oh no, you see a glimmer in the distance. A a bright white light swallowing you down the surge of, of panic you move towards it. The light coalesces into a small form. into a small symbolic house. Hey, you recognize this house. You wonder if you can just sort of Okay, well, you did that. A barrage of images hit you. Broken, chaotic flashes, too fractured to make sense of. You were you just stuck your hand into a powerful item in the whole in this whole narrative 
Your body isn't taking it well. A bright sizzling pain hits the, hits the nerve center of your brain. It radiates out your extremities. Wow, you you are you are a moron. You aren't a comic character. You aren't you are meant for this kind of metatextual energy. It hurts. It burns. It unravels you from the inside. Out and then everything goes white. <laughs> ah! Oh, what a lovely morning. Bugsy, is this supposed to happen? Yes. As all things are supposed to right now. We? Well, we right now. We may not control the story. But we may control it at that point. We can now, we can now cue, ball, now cue balls out of our way. And we can fix, we can start repatching the universe. Is that what we've been doing? Well, that was tag. That was technically a side plan. I knew we were gonna fight. I knew by fighting Thardarkus, we wouldn't be in, we wouldn't be able to fight English right away. And I knew Doc Scratch outplanned me when I thought I had him. But it's neither here nor there. Let's do this. The air's crisp and fresh. It's early spring, probably. Probably, you find yourself on the sidewalk in a suburban neighborhood, facing a neat, a neat, friendly house. A neat, friendly boy stands, stands, stands at the window on the second floor, look, looking down at you. At least you hope he's. At least you hope he's friendly. You man, you really love to be his friend. At first, you think the boy is looking at you, but instead, he appears to be looking at the mailbox, which is stuffed full of that stuff. Stuff so full that the door is half. The door is half open. Looks like someone crammed a whole box in there. Hopefully you pull out a couple of coupons, a green stamp symbol. You go get the boy the thumbs up, but he is no longer at the window. Your memory prickles, your awareness. You feel like you've maybe done this before. While you stand there ruminating, ruminating, a car pulls up. A car pulls up. The driver is wearing a hat and a suit, and it's probably the owner of the house, the father of that friendly boy. Oh shit! You're just standing out here with all of his mail. He's gonna think you're trying to rob, rob the place. Oh, what do we do? Well, since we're on Earth, I can do this. We're not gonna play it cool. We're gonna we're gonna hide the evidence. Chaos style, boy. You know, we're we're stuck in that dimension for like a whole. Time. I mean, here it's not really a whole. It's gonna hold you, but it feels. Like A friendly bodily figure parks his car. Climbing out, tips his hat at you, and walks into and he walks into the house, not sensing a single thing amiss. The perfect crime. But but here comes the boy out the front door. God, you were hope God you hope he wasn't coming down coming down for the mail. A, resi a residential boy approaches.
Sean. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sean. I'm so sorry. I'm really, 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 really sorry. <sighs> okay. Okay. You sure you can do this? I I'm good. I'm good. I can do this. Okay, ask Lord, and I can do this. I I'm good. I'm tough. I feel like I don't want to cry. Wait a minute. This is not the same boy you saw peeking through the window. It possibly is not a boy at all. It appears to be a mysterious gentleman now that's his disguise. You wonder what the business of this fine outstanding neighborhood gentleman would have with you. Hey! Bugsy, did you just. I, I, I don't know why I'm. Oh shit. I understand. Okay! What does that mean? Guys. We basically have control of the narrative now, so that means I'm using John's actual voice. Oh, holy, 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 great, open kind of sky. I know, right? This is weird. This is so weird, but hey. I saw you. I saw you standing out, standing out here, messing around, messing around with the mailbox. I figured you might be the mailman. Ah! Uh, I know. It's, I know. You can't really hear us or see us. Done. You did a good job. No matter what. No matter what thing I say to you in the future, I always respected you. I always knew the right one for my daughter. This, sorry, things ended with you. I only had enough for one trip. Grandchild has to grow up without a father. I should have fought it. I should have fought. I should have fought English. I should have took the part of the blow. I got careless. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh, yeah, you. That's you. You're definitely the mailman. Your outfit is, um, in the laundry today? You're, uh, you're just wearing the mailman hoodie instead. You see the symbol? It's the symbol of mail. Nothing stops the mail. Ha! <laughs> ha! That's great. I guess. I guess it's true after all. That mailmen are are completely relentless in their quest to deliver the mail. You guys are incredible. <laughs> this hurts. I'm for the future, and this hurts so bad. Speaking of the mail, do you know if I got anything? What? No red packages. I haven't seen anything like that. No bills, no junk mail, nothing at all. The mailbox is completely empty. I didn't say anything about a red package. Should I be expecting one? 
Come to think of it. Come to think of it. My birthday is getting a package in the mail. Would make sense. If it's red, that means it's from, it's from Dave. He loves red. He loves red. I guess it's cool. Oh man, I wonder what he got me. He got you nothing. It's insane. Uh, let's see. This Dave fell over and forgot you were doing being a bad friend. Oh shit. Oh, uh, just kidding. You say Dave sure is a great friend who cares about this kid a lot. His present is probably late. Just late. And definitely not sinking below a submarine river right now. Oh! But he's supposed to get the money. I know. I'm saying we're not in full control of the narrative. We control it enough. You say absolute you say absolutely not. Wait a minute. I skipped it. It's not it's not worse. That's a strange thing to say. Are you sure you don't know more about Dave's prison than you're telling me? Uh, you say no, you say absolutely not. He should actually forget about what he said about the prison being late. You shouldn't expect the prison red package now or ever. He should trust you because all mailmen know everything about the mail. Dang, so nothing else? Huh? You said the box is empty. I don't think I understand. Isn't how... Isn't... Isn't that how all it always when you deliver mail and I mean you're the guy who's supposed to put the stuff in there. That's right, I'm <laughs> Yes, absolutely right. Your mailman your mailman, the absolute authority over all mail, which means you must which means your word must be accepted without question. When it comes to the mail, he didn't he didn't get he didn't get today. You double check everything, you look thoroughly through your mailbag. Anything with this kid's name on it and you can't empty. Sorry, Dave. You have a mailbag, where is it? Oh, that old thing? I accidentally dropped it in the sewer before the, before the boy came outside. Oh, oh, that sucks. All that mail is ruined. May I can help you fix it up? No! He. The MCA reader knows. But if. But guys, if. If this never happens. Well, I mean, you. You guys still exist because without without you guys playing some grub and being stir thoroughly stuck on the meteor and trying to before being stuck on the meteor and trying to claim your reward, you guys still exist. That timeline exists, but we're pulling this in a different direction. I I feel that I feel that the MSP Avery is really pulling us. Even though we are the ones with the voices and we're trying to do what we do in our mission, it seems that the MCA reader has the juju. And since he has the juju, boys, we can't really do much of anything. We can only read and slightly guide the slightly guide the narrative where we want it to go, whether it's canon or not. But then again, we're this is the this is the house juju. Basically, the source of John's retcon powers. So we're kind of we're kind of fucked. 
but it didn't matter. Well, that made that made perfect sense. Yeah, it totally did. It totally grew up and did. I mean, that's all I'm gathering for right now. So does that so does that mean we're stuck in the past? Right now, yeah. But the government will hand handle this. There's insurance and such for sure sort of related postal mishaps. Oh, that makes sense, but what if you miss something in and something that was totally for me? Like a game envelope and such? Are are you totally sure you didn't miss something? Yes, you're sure. You triple checked his name on it besides. It's really ranked down there. Our sewer in the mail has been befouled. It's beyond salvaging. Really, it's the best that you don't bother peeking inside. But, I just realized something. If he's got the house sheet, right? The source of, you know, John's recon power, right? What, what does that mean for the rest of this? Because even still, even still, we still, they still need to carry out the events that we're going to supposed to have. Uh, Gamzee, I'm asking you as my best friend not to think about it too hard. Because the moment you think about it too hard, the moment the shit is going to fall apart. And we don't need to think about it, alright? Yeah, you mean? Damn. I don't know how to tell you this. I really don't. But, uh, don't think that too hard, man. Then what are we, what are we doing? I'm trying to figure it out. Don't worry. <laughs> you think I'm just gonna let us be stuck here? Hell no, we're gonna figure this out. You're, pro You're probably right, but... Hey, how do you know there wasn't any mail for me if you don't know any? Oh, what? Oh, god damn. Huh. Oh, you mean, of course you know his name. Melmans are like a sort of Santa Claus. Their name, they know names. All the good, good little boys on their delivery route. That don't sound right. <laughs> oh wait, that sounded creepy. You really regret. You really regret phrasing like that. It's completely unnecessary. You just know that there's a lot of stuff as important as the official government with a lot of bureaucratic lists and such. For instance, this young man's name is... Damn, why do you always paint yourself in a corner like this? All you're trying to do is make new friends, and you manage to... Manage, you manage somehow to pull your bullshit away... Way through... The absolutely most challenging version... Of this possible. This young man's name is... Well, it could really be anything. He might as well be given a random... Random ass name that this day, this very day you arrived. Who really gave him some smell reward? Was it Car Cat or you guys? Uh, it was... It was... It was car again. It was GC. Alright. This very day, Shirley, after you arrive, all you know is... All you know, you just have to go with it. Just 
just have to go with your gut and feel it out. A new friendship is online. His name said. St- no, wait, you're making a bad face and you're getting off the wrong track. J- yeah, there you go. He said, bring it up. That's good. It's not Jimmy or J- or Jillian or that's not even his name anyway. John, yes. He likes John. 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 John B. <laughs> he looks like he looks disgusted with the board. John B. You can. You can. You can fight. You can, I mean, you really can be quite the fucking idiot sometimes. Yeah, this feels like I'm saying, okay, okay, so I am in control because I would say that, sort of. John Derson, John Derson, wait, he looks pleased. Wait a minute, I just, it looks like he sucked down a lemon. Jesus Christ, you're bad at this. You... You were close. Jonder? Jonder, yikes. Ah, you got it. It's just... It's just John, of course. You don't know... What you were give, what you were thinking? I uh, guess you do. Those were go- Those are just scoops. You explained to John that Melman loved goops. His name is John. You confidently, you say confidently, as you had, you had, if you had it in the mailbag, all along, in your non-existent mailbag. Which you told him, which you told him you dropped in the sewer, your real bag, where the good shit is, such as your incredible ability to guess someone's name in five or six tries. That's right. I wonder how. I wonder how. I wonder how. I guess it's true then. You really are. You re- Melman really do. Really do practically know everything. You smile. You feel like this friendship may be starting to click. It was Rocky there for a minute? It's Rocky there for a while as you spin. As you had to spin an intricate flawless web of lies to smooth over the fact that you destroyed his cherished personal property but you're pretty sure you're justified now and you never had to justify yourself to him again well it's nice that as nice as it is to meet you mr mailman to be honest this is just, this just kind of sucks. I've been get, I've been waiting for a really cool game to arrive, but it's been a few days already, and now, and now I'm thinking under, it got lost in the mail. Guys, I just realized something. That scratch still fucking exist if we went back and just uh, uh, fuck. Not to worry, not to worry, you got this. I have I have hope someone would show up on my birthday like a present from nobody really. The present I've been here, like I guess it was going to be Destiny, Destiny or something. 
oh well. I guess magic really is fake as all the scientists say it is. You done very wise. Oh god. But yeah, we probably caused the time paradox, but you know, we'll worry about it later. You nod, you know I'm very wisely. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, you say. You gets that game goodbye. It's definitely not lost in the mail, and never, and never to be delivered. The general postmaster just told you a few seconds ago. Um, through your wired earpiece that's hooked up, hooked up to the U.S. parcel. Mainframe, you are making shit up, MGA reader. There is no such thing. You tell John he's right to display your magic. It's fake. I beg to differ. You're, I beg to differ. A chaos lover is sitting here, and he is indeed magic. Did you really have to do that now, Aaron? Yes. I needed uh, and 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 to take a low joint. It's time for him to use an idea to use the idea. They'll never play this game, whatever it was. It's probably stupid like most games are. SBA reader Don't make me come out there and shove shove your arm up your own asshole. Cause I'll do it, man. How can you do that? Easy. I can only do it after we after we're done this particular time. I think I got too worked up about it. It probably does suck anyway. I think Game Bro gave it like six ha two hats out of two had two hats. Two out of five hats. It might have been even less than that, actually. God, what a piece of shit it probably was. He's he's really just pushing it because he's trying to not make it like a big deal, but he, he cares about it. I mean, it's it's supposed to happen like this. I mean, with I mean, it's not supposed to happen like this. Yeah. What? Maybe. Maybe we'll use this timeline to get our sub back to where we need to be. Hmm. Yes, yes, I, I feel like that could really work. But then again, we don't really know if that's going to. Ah, Aridin, don't worry about it. We're gonna we'll figure this out. I'm never gonna. I forgot I ever heard of that dumb game and tried to it for the rest of my life. Talk to my friends, hang out in my room, and I don't know. Come to think of it, I was looking forward to playing that game with my friends so much, I'm lonely. I'm almost embarrassed to admit it, but I don't really. I don't have, I have any real life friends. Oh, this, it's in your, this is in, this is your in. This boy seems nice and chosen for friendship. Oh my god. We can draw the narrative, but we cannot pull his, his lust for friendship away from him. Can't you just use your magic? No, that scratch put it so deep in him, I can't really pull it out. If I, if I was, it could rip his soul in half. You, you, so you're telling, so, you, so you're telling us you tried, you tried this before? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Aaron. And it didn't really work. As much as you are, you laid out the groundwork for becoming his. This bro is so expert. You just need to slide right into his life. 
just with a more synthetic remarks. You actually have a lot of experience by now. You had so many friends in so many strange places. And with such a mix such mixed results. You think you did, you actually can't conjure up any of their names or faces right now. It's it probably isn't isn't important actually. Let's never speak of this again. Hey, I Run uh, out of all the rotten bastardly tricks. Oh, I'll remember this, man. I'll remember this. So, guys, uh, we're gonna have to end it here. We don't want to go. We don't want to go too far. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. And my past self will pull out. Heads up, Finn Sim, and we'll just go from there. Nah, nah, you know what? We'll, we'll finish this. You wanna, um, you wanna hang out? Yeah, we, yeah, we gotta, we gotta save it here. Guys, we'll be. We'll see, we'll do this tomorrow. Oh yeah, and my pass out next week. We'll be doing Hives on Fencim, just so we can get to this point. And where we're, where we're all at. So, uh, we're going to try and get that done, done a little quicker. But, uh, this is all we can do right now. So, before we get out of here. Uh, we'll see you all later. We'll see you tomorrow. We promise. Remember, this may be out of chronological, chronologi eh, chronological order, but this needed to happen. We'll see you all later. Peace.